come with me? What is up, guys? Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, all that wonderful fun stuff, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. It's going to be a very short episode. My name is Evil One. I really do hope you are having an excellent holiday season. With me today, I am joined by Dolan. Say hello, Dolan. Howdy, everyone. Are you having an excellent holiday? Yes, actually. And right on. There's good reasons for it. Yes, I have really good reasons too. But before I get into that, I want to talk about my. Uh, before we get into that, let's talk about what we're going to do today uh, here at the yard because um, we just got some trains and stuff to move around and clean up. I would like to actually fuel the the engines now that we have consumables. And I got the uh, shove over there by the water tower. I've been fighting that engine trying to get it lined up just properly with that uh, those offset tanks so we'll take a look at that uh, we also have some uh, I think air over by the uh, freight depot and we had a little bit of a nightmare uh, we, we uh, did a, a train run and I'm not gonna really go into specifics but it wasn't very good and uh, we have to kind of clean up after that so that's the goal for today, and um, so yeah. So, Dolan, why are you having an excellent holiday season? So, recently I just got a whole bunch of computer parts. I've been trying to upgrade my computer for so long now. And I've got a motherboard for a great price and a bid war with like six other people. <laughs> so I got, I got a motherboard. Uh, it's a B450 ASRock board. Steel Legend model. So it's a it's got RGB and everything, and it's got the steel alloy plates on it for like hit di uh, heat dissipation and whatnot. And it's got RGB too. I recently also got a new tower cooler for my CPU, and I put it all together without the case because I don't get the case till Christmas. So, which is okay. I'm not too worried about it, but. I'm just glad that I have a computer that can steadily play my games and not have to worry about power diversion between different items. So. Yeah. Sorry, I keep hearing a bell from one of those engines over there. It just keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. That is very annoying. Alright, we're going to go move this locomotive ahead just a little bit. I'm going to try and get on the other side. Maybe right in that area. I'll try to get this spout down. So yeah, you're looking at new computer uh, hardware. That is very awesome. So the computer, maybe, will that line up? No. So this this is not the correct water tower, so not, or not the correct placement. But this water tower uh, does hit the center line of the track for the other locomotives. So Dolan, you have a solution for this? Just placed it. Just placed it. This water tower oh. actually has a little swivel spout here. There, you can change it to any direction you please. And well, that's not lined up with anything. Oh well, this is just <laughs> to show you. We'll we'll end up. Oh. With but this little swivel spout, it goes out, and you can line it up however you need to. And then the little knob for the water release is up here. Okay, so I'm I'm just using the wrong water tower altogether. Yeah, this is Let's the... place this water tower over here by the coal chute because we don't have any water tower over here. And then we can just move the ruby basin over there. Yeah. And with so this one here, it's... This was the one I mentioned back in the Discord chat, actually. It's right, shady. you said it had the flexible pipe, and I thought that... Uh, I said I'm, I'm using the one with the flexible pipe because this one here is also flexible. In my sense of the word, I guess. But, uh, I mean, it, it is what it is. So yeah, if you that. want to go place that, that water tower, I'm going to talk about what I just did because it is so awesome and so epic. If you have been paying attention at all in the Discord, you will know that my computer is really old. And so old that I actually got it from a friend of mine back in 2009. And it was just a case. He fried the motherboard, he pulled the hard drive out, 
and he gave me the case with just power supply. And so I put a new motherboard in it. Uh, I put an i7 3.3 gigahertz processor in it. Uh, over the years, I've gone through many different amounts and types of RAM. Uh, most recently, I had 32 gigs of Viper RAM in there. And I had the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics card. So, that computer being, what, 12 years old now? No. Yeah, 13 years old, 14 years old? If, math. Math is hard. <laughs> if you got it in 2009, it'd be... Well, that's when I got the case. So uh -huh. I think I started building it about this time, 2010. So So yeah, about 13 years. About 13 years or so. So yeah, it's an old computer. And it was definitely time for an upgrade. So I went ahead and I spent a little money. The wife is very happy with me. Okay. And I got a new custom PC from a company called Zydax. I looked at a bunch of different companies and I, I thought about building my own. It's, it would save a bunch of money if I did build my own. But I haven't really done anything like that since I built the old computer. So I decided that maybe that's not the greatest idea. And instead I reached out to a company and uh, we built a computer. I, I, I built it on their little build the PC you know, website thing and I selected all the components I thought would be good and it ended up being close to seven thousand dollars shipped oh and yeah yeah kind of expensive a yeah. little more than I really wanted to spend I add up all the parts I've got together and I've got at least a thousand in mine nice so I mean or, or well I'd say more like twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars well I was planning on only spending about two thousand dollars at most yeah and then i realized that i can't because that's you know about what i had into that other computer back in the day so i figured i'd spend about that much again you know and i'd have a really good computer but sticker shock uh prices have definitely gone up uh so i reached out to a different company i heard about a different company called zydax and i built a computer on their website ended up giving them a call and talking to them over the phone and we got it down uh, to about five thousand dollars, but after taxes and everything, it comes out and sh and shipping break right there. Is that a good spot? Uh, it should be. Give me just a second to cover that over the tank. Yeah, because it it like does an entire like 180 degree swivel. Yeah, I see that. Nice. Um, go go forward. Five feet? Forward? Yeah, just a little bit. Versus forward, brake is off. I'm gonna choose just a little bit here. Alright. Stop. Perfect. Nice. Let's put well, some water in this bad boy. At least your ruby basin will have water in it. <laughs> Mine does, but it doesn't have coal. So, um, let me tell you about this computer because it's really awesome. So the case is a, I'm going to butcher the name of this, it's a Leon Lee. It's Lee and uh, Lee. Lee. Lee and Lee. Lee and Lee, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 011 Dynamic Evo XL, and Zydex calls that the Tetradon Black. It, In there, go ahead. That's that's a great case actually. I've got an Antec NX410 coming. Nice. So the the case is actually really cool because it's got this uh, this like glass side and front on it, which is awesome because I got some RGB stuff in there too, which I'll talk about here in just a second. But uh, the motherboard is the MSI Pro Z790P Wi-Fi. Plugged into that is the Intel Core i9 uh, 24 core 6 gigahertz processor. Also plugged into that, or on top of the uh, the processor, is the uh, Asus Asus Rogue Ryzen 3 360 ARGB Black. That's got a little cool LCD screen on it that can show me the information for the processors. Also plugged into the motherboard is the Asus Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 4090 24 gigabit uh, OC Edition graphics card. 
Now that card alone, I think, was specced at like eighteen, sixteen hundred dollars, eighteen hundred dollars, something like that. So depends just, on where you're buying it from. Yeah, it was, it was the top. It's the top of the line graphics card that they could get their hands on. Yeah. So, and that's what I was after. The other things that I I have plugged into this motherboard is the Patriot Viper Venom RGB DDR5 clocked at 6,000 megahertz, uh, two 32 gigabyte sticks for 64 gigs of memory. So that's, uh, in my opinion, just awesome. <laughs> well, let's see. DDR5 is powerful RAM. Sorry, I'm backing up uh, error. I'm gonna try and clean up this train here. I've seen no popcorning so, so far. Right on. Yeah, come take a look at this train I'm moving over here by the uh, uh, Freight Depot. I want to see if you see any popcorning on it. Please and thank you. On my way. I'm not seeing any so far. That is so awesome. Maybe it's just a PC problem. Maybe the host has got to have a great computer. <laughs> and that's what solves the problem. Yeah, I'm getting no popcorning whatsoever. Awesome. So the game is not optimized for, uh... No, it's only really optimized for state-of-the-art, high-end computers. <laughs> this is so smooth. Nice. We should get we should get one of these trains up to speed and see how well it does. Okay. Yeah, we can certainly do that. Uh... We have to back up a little ways here if we want to do something like that. Oh, we've got a couple flat state cars sitting on the main line. Oh, yeah, shoot. Uh, just turn off the brakes. We'll throw those into one of the, the lanes. I'll just push it with error here. All right, I gotcha. I'll make sure the brakes are off. Some of the other awesome features of this game is I got the uh, a whole bunch of RGB fans. I got 10 120 millimeter uh, Corsair fans. I think one of the coaches at some point must have come uncoupled. Yeah. That's all right. See, with my computer, so... It's, I've got a single 128, 128 gig uh, M.2 SSD, and then I've got a one terabyte hard disk drive. Okay, that's your, that's your storage drive? Yeah. I'll have to go into the specs of my PC here anyways, here in a little bit. Did you go ahead and put the brakes on this train? I did. I'm backing up to it now to recouple up to it. Um, be aware, I'm pretty sure that the caboose and the second coach are rolling back towards you. Do you see that on your end? Uh, no, because I'm messing with controls. Oh yeah, they're slowly rolling towards me. I need to put a Lincoln pin in that anyway. You want me to turn on the brakes on these, or no? Nah, it's fine. Gotcha. Well, I'll stand I'll here and make sure it gets coupled. Perfect. Let's see, break off. I'm gonna a knock on wood so we don't cause any popcorning. Because, I mean, we're... The last thing I need is to see that... Captured? Yep. Oh, perfect. That was a different sound. I've never heard that sound before. But there used to be a time not too long ago where I lived out in the country and I didn't have very good. Uh oh, we just derailed that. Darn it. Why is that? Oh, oh what? The... Oh, the switch got flipped behind me somehow, some way. Um... With the train sitting on it. That's cute. I'm so glad I got that on video. 
A little bit deja vu over the, the, the multi-track drifting car. <laughs> so... Oh, we didn't want to put that in this lane. That's alright, we can re-rail it over to the right lane. The proper lane, rather. I'm not sure if there's enough room on this track, though. Is there for two? Well, the, up above that other caboose, I think there's a bunch of space. Or maybe behind this caboose. I'll just, I'll just throw the brakes on this one. We'll deal with it later. Um, awesome. But are you done listing the parts through your computer, or do you want to back to back back? Continue. Sorry, I made it daylight again. You're good. So Let's... no, I was telling you about uh, my my server. What's what I'm doing with the uh, old computer? So the the all in one was acted as a server for these raids, and they they hosted. Uh, all my media. So we didn't have access to, like Netflix. We didn't have very good internet, so we couldn't like you know, watch movies and that sort of thing. So I hosted a Plex server, oh. and uh, I still have. I have, I want to say like 12 terabytes of movies, uh, and I used it for other storage as well. Can I come forward, please? We'll park that. That the passenger train in the shed. I had to reconnect it as the more the tender came derailed. It broke the call. Oh, broke, broke the so the, well, the old computer will now become the new Plex servers. But long story short, that that's what the, the old computer is going to be doing, and it's just going to uh, just kind of be a backup and. Uh, my my young son he likes to play on it, and, you know. So I watch YouTube or something like that on it. So. Is Minecraft in the uh, in the mix there? <laughs> you know that's a game that I actually never really got into. Was Minecraft? Does your son like it? No, he's only four years old. Oh, wow! Fair Minecraft enough. came out before he was born. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, of course, but my sister's been playing Minecraft. Since she was a toddler, so well, that, that has, just because I wanted to have somebody to play video games with because I didn't like hanging out. Whoa! Yeah, I'm just zooming up ahead here. I'm pretty sure this Ruby Basin is full. So it's not, oh yeah, it's full. So I just got it on video, but there's some weird collision thing now with those industries when you fly with them uh -huh. on client side. Uh oh. So I just saw a whole bunch of cars on client side go flying. Oh, weird. Well, let's check that out. What do you see? I think it only happens when you first place it, but now it's it's fine. Weird. Oh, okay. well now now I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff explode. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, who knows? So, also, update on the popcorning. It's not popcorning no more. It's just an increased, increased frame, frame drop on a client side now. Increased frame drop? Yes, so typically we'd only lose a few frames, and now we're losing... I just lost, like, 30 frames. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm down to 76. I just ran the cook at full speed for that stretch of line. Received no uh -huh. no popcorning, and the lowest my frames dropped was about 40. Nice. Maybe we can finally run trains. Holy cow. Oh, I'm stopped that ahead is... of you. Let me move out of the way. Yeah, no, you're fine. I'll stop before you. Let's go park that locomotive that you're in. We'll, uh, error. That's, it just makes me so happy. Right? To finally run a train with no popcorn. Well, shoot, now I feel like I need to apologize because it was me all along that was causing you guys so much headaches. No, no, you're good. It's, it's nothing you could have controlled. Well, 
I could have purchased a better computer like a year ago. <laughs> So what, what number is that locomotive again? That's three, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the... Oh, good. Okay, you got the spot. Yep, go ahead. Back onto the turntable, please. Alrighty. I just hate that we get these... Uh, these hints stuck on screen. That bothers me so much. Right? Oh, now that was perfect. Nice. Looks like you are lined up. Third reverse. I'll go grab the uh, chub, the Ruby Basin. Oh wait, we didn't fuel that look that engine, did we? Uh how much water how much water does it have in it? I know Tidmouth and I filled it up last episode. Okay. Or last recording. Uh, it's, right. got, it's got, ha well, we didn't fill it up. We filled it up halfway. It's got 4,500 out of 9,500. Okay, so about half. So, uh, we should be good on this one. Okay. I'm going to check on risk real quick. Remember. <laughs> Sorry about that. You're good. Uh, remember, we still have that those flat state cars out there that we have to go retrieve as well and park them that is before true. we start getting too carried away with all that. I'm going to go hop in one of the tank engines and go from there. Number of shove? Shove is seven. Okay. I'm going to back onto the turntable here. Oh. We're going to have to put water in push. Push has no water. Fantastic. But let me see how full the boiler is, because if the boiler's full, we should be fine. Fine enough to get it to a water tower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, break! 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 Uh-oh. I'm good. <laughs> I, I, apparently I moved the wrong slider here, so let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, well, shoot. I can just keep going back. You're probably sitting there wondering, like, why did I stop? <laughs> Break off versus back. Yeah, no, it is. boiler's got just enough water just to get to a water tower. Okay. We will get it to a water tower then. Night shows. I love that we get a lens flare now when we look at the sun. <laughs> yeah, but you're not supposed to look at the sun. I recommend not looking directly at the sun. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> anyway. We'll be fine. I just don't recommend it in real life, guys. Alright, you're lined up. Are you on? Yep. Mine was just part of like a old HP uh an old HP pre build uh pre build that I got for three hundred bucks. Nice. But it's so nice. I'm gonna to leave that. you to go get fuel and water well, I guess just water in that one. I'm gonna take reward, go get that train. And uh Fuel it up so I can put it away. Break off, reverse or forward. I think we might need a uh, sanding tower at some point, too. I think we could, we, oh, how's the sand on? Reward is empty. Almost. Oh. Just a little line of yellow there in the UI. 
I'm trying to remember what the top speed was on the on this one here. I think it is only like 16, 18 maybe. Well, it's just a little switching engine, so yeah, it doesn't need to be on the main line going thundering down the track. Not like reward. Yeah. <laughs> Rewards are premier good and a good engine. Oh. I have to say that is so much nicer without all the frame drops to be able to control the whistle. And I love that whistle. I know. <laughs> It's so great. I just watched you go by without any popcorning. That is so awesome. I, I'm smi I'm literally grinning from ear to ear. I don't <laughs> think I'm going to edit this video at all. <laughs> We're only at 33 minutes in. On my end of this. Yeah. I'll probably chop it down a little bit. And cut in some pieces and parts and stuff. But I'll probably yeah. title this video like Evil One Fix Popcorning. Nice. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I just... I wish Tidmuth was here to see it. But he's probably yeah. asleep. <laughs> he's probably asleep, yeah. It was kind of a really late notice. I was... I wasn't planning on doing anything re re recording-wise or play really playing-wise. Yeah, those, uh, and is your CPU cooler, is that a liquid cooler? It is liquid cool cooled, yes. The, uh, it's the Asus Rogue Raijin 3 360, uh, liquid cooled, um, CPU cooler. Yeah, I saw the MS MSI one earlier today at Best Buy, and I was thinking about getting it, but then I was like, um... I don't have the $200 that sin cost, so I bought yeah. a thing of thermal paste to go with my CPU cooler because I didn't know the CPU cooler actually had um, moving forward. Uh, moving in reverse. Okay, you gonna go park it? Yep. Perfect. I'll go grab reward and get it fueled up. It is very low on everything. I want to make that inspection pit so bad, but I just don't know how to make it. This is so awesome. It's so smooth. I turn off my HUD and I'm getting an extra, like, 5% five, five in frames. Nice. So I turn the HUD back on, and then it drops. But not by much. I'm still at 77 frames right now. I'm sitting at 50. Nice. Gosh, before I was getting like 8, 10. <laughs> yeah, that's it's so surreal to know about these things. Not to like a 40 series card, like a 40 series card would be nice. But maybe just like upgrade to like a 3090 because they had a they had a I think it was a 16 gig version of the 40 or the 3090. And if I can find one, that's what I'm gonna get. Just didn't give me the oomph I wanted to be able to play my games. Yeah, so. Not not having a having a gaming computer. I mean, it was it was a, the Alien Gear computer, which really wasn't Alien Gear. Uh, it, it's get it was a gaming computer. I mean, and, and ever since the work that I know how to make. So like that, but connect my peripherals and just go and go from there and 
be happy with what I've got. What other... Do we have to move any more locomotives around over there to get in the right order? I thought there was something like that we had to do over here at the roundhouse. I'm not sure. I think... I might have put a uh, push on the wrong track. Might have. Not too sure about that. One, two, three, four, mm. and then six. <laughs> six. Yeah, let's move that one over. Right. And I know we got Betsy in the last one, and Betsy's technically number one. It's not marked, so... You want to open the doors? You're good. Apparently, my, my parents tell me, besides my computer case, I've got a pretty nice large gift besides that, and I'm like, okay. Nice. Said it might be computer related. <laughs> I hope it's not something expensive. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind expensive, but. Part of me feels like I don't need expensive. Right? Well, so that was the question. You know, it's like, why did I break the bank? You know, buying a new top of the line game computer, spending so much money. Why not? And, well, <laughs> yes, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of money. I mean, holy crap, $6,000 for, for everything? Well, first or forward break off regular just a little bit. <laughs> I can actually be a fireman now. <laughs> yeah, without without having the tender slam into you, slam you into the the boiler. Exactly, it's like <laughs> it's because that's I almost had been hired on to be a fireman at one point, and it just I now you can live somewhat of a reality now that you actually consume fuel, right? And it just and the cutoff simulation and stuff like that it's just. This game's getting better, but it's still, it's biggest thing is, we found out a way to solve the popcorn. Yeah, well, hopefully so. I mean, we'll see what it's like when we have, you know, Ovon and Requiem James and Tidmouth and you all running trains at the same time. And Milzy if he joins. And Milzy. Can't forget Milzy. Even when you're coming in hot, slow it down. No, I'm good. Listen, I'm the one who's supposed to be living life on the edge. I have no idea how fast that's going there, but that's going. It looked fast. Moving. Yeah, you should be good. Oops. Oops. That's the wrong thing. I was wanting to blow the whistle. Are we still good? Uh, head forward just yeah, a little bit. Okay. I, I just want to be I safe. Do. I don't want to accidentally derail the tender. All right, you're good. Break, break. I was gonna say, yeah. If they <laughs> if they modeled slamming through the back of the shed wall, you literally would have pulled an old stuck up from the railway series, where you went <laughs> right through the back wall. Well, let's see what else we got. Is that it? Is that everything? I think so. Awesome. Well, let's just uh, call it a day. Works for me. Sound good? Yep. Awesome. Well, I really hope you do have a wonderful holiday. And thank you so much for watching. Dolan, before we go, do you have any parting words of wisdom? We fixed the popcorning. Remember, guys. We did, absolutely. Just spend $6,000 on your computer and... <laughs> That'll work. But actually, you, you could... too can have smooth games. <laughs> well, you probably could get. If you don't pay for labor for somebody to build it for you, 
you probably could get Evil One's PC for, uh, I want to give or take about maybe two, three grand, if you look in the right places. Maybe. We'll see where you can find parts and, and that sort of thing, so. I mean, I, I mean, did do my, I did do my, re, re, my research a little bit, so <laughs> I didn't, didn't waste that much money uh, by not building my own, but yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So. Alrighty, well, with that being said, I really hope you do have a wonderful Christmas and a very happy New Year, and we will see you next time. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>